Hello, it's Diane and I have another custom journal to share with you today. This is made from an old children's music book. I think it was from a school uh, class book. It's called Listen and Sing, The World of Music. It has a globe right here and then um, a swirly circle with music notes, but it was kind of blank inside. And so I used that space to decorate and the reason I use this decoration is because the customer wanted me to um, make it a jazz 20s and 30s, Gershwin, that type of era book um, having to do with music, but also the elegant um, ladies and gentlemen of the era. So I went online and searched for images and found some like this one. It's a piece of sheet music for a song called Jazz Baby. And also, I purchased Ivy Shutter's um, Speakeasy Street, which was, is an awesome kit. So you'll see it as I go through the book. So as I said, it's made with a children's book, and it's wide. It measures six by uh, seven and three quarters. And so because, because it's wide, a 12-inch page, I was cutting my pages to 11, 11 inches, I think. So I kind of had to look for some long pages, and I'll show you them as I go through. I made a spine out of chipboard, Tyvek, and covered it with this music note fabric. And there's the back. The back is soiled. Well, the whole cover is soiled because it's a very old book. And um, I cleaned it as best I could, and then I put Mod Podge over it to protect it. I put book corners on because the corners were frayed. It has um, three signatures. This ribbon is just tied in between the signatures. It does not hold anything together. It's just decorative. And this is a really nice ribbon from Stampin' Up! And this is the same ribbon that I used to tie it closed. So it has a piece of vintage sheet music behind it. And then this image of the sheet music, and then this little doily that I fussy cut from scrapbook paper. And inside it says, this book belongs to, and this is just a piece of cardstock that I used as a pocket. And this is one of the images from the Speakeasy Street. This is an image that I found on the internet. The pages from Speakeasy Street, you get quite a few journal pages. You also get some lined journal pages. You get um, journal cards and some tags, a couple sizes of tags, and I think two library pockets. So, so I only used a few of the pages as pages, but you'll see that I cut, cut things up and then use the lined pages as journaling, folded up journaling sheets. Well, not even folded up. They're just tucked into the bigger pockets. So here is an image of some men that I cut from one of the one of the pages. This flapper lady uh, is some something that I found online, and I put on this beaded trim here. And there's some gray and white crochet trim there. This is another image from the internet, and it's stitched to just some plain copy paper, printer paper. The customer did not want any coffee dyeing in the book because she uh, doesn't, she wants it to be acid free. She wants it as an heirloom keepsake. So um, there's no coffee dyeing, but she also likes the crinkly um, crispy sound when pages are coffee dyed. So I'll show you what I did to kind of help with that a little bit. This is one of the journaling cards. I believe there are four different ones and they're, they're um, long when you get them and you cut it and then fold it in half and glue it together so you get a double-sided journaling card. I did some stamping, quite a bit of stamping. I have a lot of music stamps. Here's one of the pages from the Ivy Shutters. This is music the greatest good that mortals know and all of heaven we have below, Joseph Addison. So here's one of the pages I tried to get kind of a crinkly effect. I mod podged some, a little piece of doily 
you can't see it because it's white on white but you can you get the texture and some napkin and it's a peacock napkin and a piece of sheet music so that's all decoupaged on and then um, to kind of get some color and a little wet on the page to make it more crinkly I didn't want to just spray on the page because sometimes that makes it just too bright so I sprayed onto my my, my inks I sprayed onto my craft mat and then just kind of laid the paper on it so this one has obviously blue and it does make it a little bit crinkly so I hope that Beatrice likes that look here's some ledger paper and there's a tab this is one of the long and the ledger paper was long not the it's more like landscape than portrait so that's why I use that and then this is also a landscape page and it was from uh, the pharmacy where I used to work where patients would sign and um, they got rid of these so I was able to take a tablet home I have a blue one and white one and I have the white ones in here also so where it had some writing I covered up these are more um, fussy cuts from the paper the ivy shutters I put this um, fringy trim up at the top here again covering up some writing and some washi tape down here. There's a little short page and this is uh, a playbill for a play called Crazy For You at the Schubert Theater. Just an image that I found on the internet. This has some music score sheet glued on there. This is fussy cut from the Ivy Shutters paper onto some scrapbook paper some fabric and a little bit of lace and there's a perpetual calendar there here's another page that I I dipped into spray on my craft mat and it's got a um, pink and a uh, pearly look so that's pretty and again the Joseph Addison quote there here's one of the library pockets and since it's designed on the back too uh, I didn't want to glue it down so I paper clipped it here and of course it's white on on this side because this was you know just printed onto printer paper so I cut this from a scrap of the ivy shutters paper and glued it there and then tucked inside is another one of the double-sided journaling cards and then this is one of the large um, tags I think it's called and um, I stitched that to printer paper another ledger sheet this is from the internet um, I think it's a ma magazine called McClure's it's got a little tiny rosette stitch to it some um, music paper and then it's this is all adhered to one of the large white merchandise bags sacks that you can get at um, a tattered dream on Etsy and I will link that shop below and I stitched this crochet trim all along the bottom of the bag. The bag was a little bit too wide so I trimmed off the bottom the one side of it a little bit and then stitched it and then stitched the trim to it. Punched a little uh, notch here and here's one of the lined pages. I had to trim it down to fit inside the bag but that's a nice journaling spot in there and and there's room for you to put something of your own in there Beatrice. I stamped music stamps all over the bag with brown ink. Here's some more manuscript paper and I just inked the edges a little bit and then here's another cutout from the Ivy Shutters paper. Now I got this gorgeous lace from A Tattered Dream. Isn't that beautiful? And I got a yard of it and I love it so much and I thought it would be perfect for this journal. Um, so I just cut a small piece of it and it's kind of flimsy and I wanted it to be a pocket so I stitched it to some clear vellum so you can still see through it but it gives it some stability and this is a stamp that I cut out I stamped it and then cut it out and here's one of the large tags and then I just glued on a list from one of the pads that you can find in the stores and this is just a leftover piece from graphic 45 this is cut from a fashion book that I have. A little tiny vellum or um, 
glassine bag and this is also from Tatter Dream and this is a little tag that I made with my Cricut. There's a stamp and there's some very subtle stenciling there. Here's the other pharmacy sheet, the white one, and again I decoupaged some napkin at the top and then laid it in some wet ink. This is um, a pink again. And the color goes through to the other side, so you get some color on that side too. There's um, inking around this page and some stamping. And here's the center with some little flowers on the strings and one of the Ivy Shutters pages. It's just gorgeous. Another, this is um, a sheet of ATC size images, so I cut her out and stitched her on with a little bit of trim there. And here is a doily that I cut from some scrapbook paper and I punched out some vintage music paper to put in the middle and made a little tag to tuck in there. Some more fabric and some velvet ribbon and a piece of the pink eyelash trim, which is from A Tattered Dream. And here's the other end of the bag. I, dec I Actually, it's just glued on with a glue stick, a doily, and uh, a little tag. I stitched around the tag before I glued it on. Obviously, I can't stitch it to the bag or I'd stitch it shut. And here's uh, another piece of the lined paper that I cut down to fit in there. And then, because the bag was a little bit too long and I didn't want to cut off the, the pinked edge, I just folded it over and then I put a paper clip on it with this fringy trim and a bulb pin and a little tiny jewelry tag. And on the back is a piece of torn music paper. This is a tag from A Tattered Dream and an image from the paper. He was printed onto cardstock by mistake, so I cut him out and he's, he makes a sturdy pocket. And here's another image that I, two pages got printed on cardstock, and so I cut all those images out and used them as pockets, so tuck spots. So here's another one. And I inserted one of the weekly time cards from Denise's shop, Tatter Dream. I didn't do any decorating to it. I just tucked it in. I spent so much time on this book that I decided to leave some things the way they were. Now this I am going to um, stitch to some copy paper. There are several tags that I still have to do that to. This is a stamp that I have, a Graphic 45 stamp and so I just stamped her with red ink and there's some lace here. Here's one of the large tags. Another piece of decoupage napkin with peacock feathers. Some trim on that page. And on the last page of each signature I used a, a page from Tsunami Roses, Life a Bloom, and I just cut it out as it was and glued it to the back. It makes a nice big journaling spot. Now I'll try to hurry through the next two signatures. So this is an image from the internet. There's a little piece of checkered ribbon. There's a piece of black printed fabric there and then some crocheted trim. And this is an image from the inter internet, Jazz Baby's Ball. another stamp, another Graphic 45 stamp, some more decoupage. This kind of has an Art Deco feel to me on that napkin. Some more fussy cuts from the Ivy Shutters paper. And another piece of fringe and some washi tape. This one is Sheet Music to Rhapsody in Blue by Gershwin. Some stamping for journaling. fabric with perfume bottles and another perpetual calendar. Another of the library pockets with a pretty peacock on it. And it also has one of the double-sided tags and one of the uh, large tags in there. Another merchandise bag with uh, 
journaling line paper in there. So I'll get that in there. This is from the internet, Jazz Club. And on this page, I use clear vellum again and this gorgeous lace stitched to it. And this dapper gentleman from the internet. And this is one of the large tags. This is fussy cut from the paper and this is from my fashion book. And another napkin with wine labels on it. There's the center of that signature. And this is the green um, eyelash trim, which I just got from Denise's shop. There's another cardstock image. And this card here is, an, is from Christy Art Designs, which I just found online and purchased this set of bingo cards, and they were perfect for this set. I think that's that might be the only one I used in the book, though. Again, the pin, and there is another journaling card inside. There's a peacock card glued there. Fussy cut image. Journaling spot here with some pretty lace. Another stamp. A tag. Where words fail, music speaks. Hans Christian Andersen. And there's another of the Tsunami Rose pages. And here's some sheet music that says, What you gonna do when there ain't no jazz? And here's, um, I think it's from a play called The New Yorkers. There's a little bit of trim stitched here and then some crochet trim all along the edge. Another decoupage napkin. I think all of these napkins that I used were gifted to me. Because I can never find them. These were all cut from Ivy Shutter's paper. Here's the Jazz Baby sheet music again. Look at that dandy gentleman. This is pretty, this ruffled trim that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. Perpetual calendar. Another, it's the same library pocket as in the first signature because there are only two designs and I needed three. This image is um, from the internet and it's sheet music for the Charleston. And then this one has vellum and this green lace. You can't really see the lace well against that paper unless there's some white behind it. It's very pretty. It was gathered. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I didn't realize that it was gathered at the top so I just took the stitches out so I could straighten it out. It was very easy to take it apart. This is from the internet. And this is from one of the sheets of Ivy Shutters. And this is cut from the Ivy Shutters, as is this. And here's the center of the third signature. And there's the Stormy Skies eyelash trim. There's journaling card inside of there. And here is another of the merchandise tags from Denise's shop and a, a lady that was printed on cardstock. I cut her out and she's now a tuck spot. Here's an old shoe stamp that I've had for a long, long time. And it was just the right style of shoe for this book. piece of napkin there. And the last piece of the Tsunami Rose paper. 
And then I used a vintage library pocket on the back cover and covered it with some scrapbook paper. And this is just a little scrap of the Ivy Shutters paper that I used to cover that part. And then a little ATC card. And there are a couple of library cards inside. So there it is. I hope you like it, Beatrice. I had fun making it. I have to say that it is a challenge to me when a customer tells me what they want in their book and it challenges me which is really good because it um, helps stretch my creativity and keeps me from being stagnant so I really appreciate that I hope you all enjoyed it let me know what you think leave a comment below thank you so much bye bye